We work together in the industry, uh, Dewan Court, so got to know the lads through that. Um, then we just got talking one day about opening up this restaurant, so this is what we're doing. Uh, more growth in this country from than from where I'm from, South Africa. Um, and just the opportunities and bringing something different to the table and make my name. But so I want to bring something a little bit different that Thailand hasn't seen. So where I'm from, we use a lot more um, aromatic spices. And so I'm putting a little bit of that into the cooking. So it's completely different to what you'll get anywhere else in Ireland. Um, yeah, so just for the large catering, um, we're going to do like a restaurant twist to the clubhouse food. So something completely different. I, I was born in Port Yonkla, grew up here. My parents have a small nursery on the Ockram Road there, Wiley's Nursery, so they produce their own plants and flowers and I suppose that's given us a little bit of inspiration here. We're producing some herbs for the restaurant here as well, which is great. Um, Previously, I suppose in my earlier career, I'd worked in restaurants such as Max Wiggins Restaurant in Galway and Woodkey, but in terms of my management career, that probably started in Banlinge Castle in Connemara, where I ran the restaurant there alongside Michelin star chef Alton Cook. Um, from there, I moved on to uh, Carton House, where I ran the clubhouse there, as well as some of the food and beverage in other various restaurants throughout the resort. Um, then I took on the position of Deputy General Manager in Wineport Lodge in Glasson. I worked there for about two and a half years before um, taking on a, a nice offer down in Trump Doom Beg, um, where I was the lodge manager. So I ran uh, most of the restaurants, I suppose, in, in the resort in Trump. For the Don. For the Don, <laughs> absolutely, yeah, sure. yeah. Well, uh, currently we're, we're working Monday to Sunday, um, one to nine of the hours we serve food. Um, obviously, we're restricted by the outdoor dinings a little bit you know weather plays a big part in it at the moment but it's been really good for us the last week anyway it's, we've only had one kind of miserable enough day and we have a little marquee temporary there at the moment to help with that um, but once we go inside the hours will stay much the same and um, once we go inside then we'll start taking reservations as well we're not so much taking reservations at the moment because we're limited with space and um, but we're looking forward to getting inside in a, in a big way absolutely without, without certainty we're, we're happy to cater for any any event that we can and um, I know that we can't specifically close off the whole place but we can do areas and sections and you know smaller parties I suppose 15 20 people 30 people no problem without, without a shadow of a doubt I think that um, I suppose the current times that we're living in I think now more than ever people want to get out and about and we're we're happy to be able to facilitate that I mean we, we want not just you know the golfers coming up here but maybe a, a group of girlfriends gathering for cocktails, uh, mum and, and their daughter coming up for coffee or gathering of mums coming for coffee after drop the kids to school or you know it's endless Wh whoever wants to come up can come up we're, we're really happy to look at